up? It's your guy, Derek Dimes, working with Ghost Picks Against the Spread, your nation's number one trending sports handicappers right here on the East Coast. First of all, if you're new here, welcome. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Truly appreciate it. Make sure you click that subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date with everything we do here. Constant free plays, charity events, promos, um, meetups. We actually have Jimmy up in Canada right now uh, checking out some CFL games, meeting up with some clients. Um, good thing going there. We actually had the Bulldog and Jack. Out at Fenway Park yesterday, they meet up with some guys and watch the game out there, watch the Red Sox do their thing. So we're going to be over um, a lot of places and travel around and meet up with you guys, see some different parks, see some different fields. And um, we're out there, we're going to be accessible to you guys, and we're going to let you know where we're at. I'm more than likely going to head to some fields games. We still have the meetup in um, Atlantic City that we're going to do. So just stay posted, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything we're doing here. Um, normally we go with a recap, so I'll go ahead and recap my day yesterday. Very solid day yesterday, 3-1 overall. Free play did drop. We had the Cubs against the, uh, I'm sorry, Cubs against the Cards as an underdog. And I felt like the Cubs, I know the Cubs have been struggling a little bit lately um, at the plate, but they had a pitcher who historically against them was just bad, just awful. Uh, steaming pile of garbage but he came out and pitched a good game and the Cubs still couldn't get their bats work and they lost five to two that also was a premium selection of mine um I think I know a lot of us at uh on the ghost team had that play and we that that play dropped for us but other than that it was a great day we swept the board had Arizona on the run line they took the win six to two had the Nats on the run line who've been looking very good here lately um I look for them to try to make a push there in the NL East uh Scherzer looked just amazing uh, they had a 9-1 victory there, nice and easy. Uh, CFL play was a hit, blowout win there. So 3-1 overall, very solid day. Looking to keep it rolling here again for you guys today. Uh, promos are going to be the same. I'm going to keep them till Sunday. This is the last two days I'm going to offer this promo, which was $99 for my entire week. That is Monday to Monday, Tuesday to Tuesday, today Saturday, Saturday to Saturday, tomorrow Sunday to Sunday. After that, I will not offer this deal anymore. Um, it's something I felt like I needed to do as far as being the newer guy here, let you guys see what I'm about and kind of my, prove myself and prove my worth to you guys um, and let you know that I bring a ton of value to this team if you haven't noticed already. But um, $99 gets you all plays and top tier included for an entire week. That's a $77 savings. I, I've run, very often I run a $25 day package which gives you all my plays and top tier. So even if you're someone who buys my day packages on the regular, you'll save 75 bucks by getting that week all plays in top tier let's jump right into that free play i know that's why you're here won't waste any more of your time i like the fills on the money line minus a buck 25 versus the reds and i'm going to tell you why right now the last one is on the mound for the fills his season era is at 405 he's got 118 strikeouts and his whips at 1.19 excuse me uh his away era much much better 2.42 and 44 and two thirds innings pitch and eight games started uh he's two and one uh, with the 2.38 ERA over his last six outings. And in the month of July, he has not allowed one single earned run. He's been very, 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 very good here lately. Matt Harvey will take the ball for the Reds. He carries an ERA of 5.21. It's very deceptive because he's actually pitched very well throughout the year. He has a good ERA um, historically against um, the Phils. He's not a bad pitcher whatsoever. His last outing, he got demolished against the Pittsburgh Pirates, who've been batting very well as well excuse me he gave up eight earned runs four home runs in three and two-thirds innings he, he got crushed in a game that the reds lost obviously um at home his era is 5.72 he's allowed 11 home runs in seven games started all those are important because the fills are very very hot at the plate right now they're third in the league since the since the all-star break they're they are third in the league and run scored uh, they lead the league in home runs after the All-Star break with 21, which is five more than the second-place team, which is the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, the Reds are the worst in the league um, in home runs allowed. They've allowed 155 home runs this season, which is 17 higher than the second-to-last-place team, which is the Kansas City Royals. Harvey's given up four home runs in his last outing versus the Pirates, who, as I said before, is the second-hottest team right now after the All-Star break um, in home runs. And the Reds have been struggling at the plate lately. Besides yesterday, um, they were three. They had three runs uh, per game over their last eight. So we're looking for Velasquez to come out here and, and do a good pitching thing. The fills are hot at the plate. Um, we like to watch trends here, and there's a trend here that I like, and we're going to take advantage of it. A buck twenty-five to get one of the hottest teams in baseball, and I like that. That's the free play. Put a little money down on that. Thanks for tuning in. As usual, make sure you have a wonderful Saturday. Um, really thank. 
thankful for uh, all the love and support out there. Drop something in the comments if anything you want to talk about. Questions. I gave out a few leans yesterday. Um, thanks for tuning in. God bless. Good luck. Grind on.